FBI raided Wasserman Schultz's house after she's tied to dead body on beach, make unbelievable find. Ever since Trump got into office, liberals continue to prove how far they're willing go in order to bury their dirty secrets. Members of the DNC will simply kill off whoever stands in the way of their agenda, as evidenced by the body of lawyer Barrington J. Wissonet Jr. washing up on a Florida beach back in May. As Wasserman Schultz has continues to be investigated for her possible role in the man's murder since Wissonet Jr. was set to expose Wasserman Schultz's fraud and visa case in Florida, now the former DNC chair has another nightmare on her hands after what the FBI just found after conducting a massive raid at her home. Several months back, a highly disturbing Muslim spy ring was discovered at the White House led by three brothers who were hired by Wasserman Schultz to do IT work for Congress. The three Muslim brothers, Abed, Imran, and Jamal Awan, were busted for stealing top-secret information from congressmen's laptops, and then copying it to an external hard drive outside of the White House. Since the bust, a criminal investigation by U.S. Capitol Hill law enforcement has been underway, although no arrests have yet to be made. Now we're learning startling information of how Wasserman Schultz is not only helping these Muslim terrorists get away with their crimes, but has been keeping the seized hard drives at her home so she could later give the top secret stolen intel back to the Muslims. The Daily Caller reported. Pakistani-born Imran Awan, longtime right-hand IT aide to the former Democratic National Committee DNC, chairwoman, has since desperately tried to get the hard drives back the individual told the Daily Caller News Foundation's investigative group. A high-level congressional source, speaking on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the probe, confirmed that the FBI has joined what Politico previously described as a Capitol Police criminal probe into serious, potentially illegal, violations on the House IT network by Imran and three of his relatives who had access to the emails and files of the more than two dozen House Democrats who employed them on a part-time basis. During the raid, Capitol Police seized smashed computers and hard drives from Wasserman Schultz's home that had previously belonged to the Muslim IT administrator. It's not clear whether Wasserman Schultz had smashed the devices as a way to destroy evidence or bury her ties to the Muslim terrorists but the former DNC congresswoman is no doubt in serious legal trouble after being in possession of the items during the raid. The Daily Caller went on. Capitol Police have also seized computer equipment tied to the Florida lawmaker. Awan's younger brothers, Abed and Jamal, his wife, Hina Alvi, and Rel Abbas, Imran's best friend, are also under investigation. There have been no arrests in the case. There is also evidence of financial schemes that extend beyond the Capitol Police's purview and may expand to Pakistan, where Imran spends significant portions of the year. It's unbelievable to comprehend why Wasserman Schultz would commit treason against the United States by aiding and abetting our enemies, but many are beginning to suspect that the Muslim Brothers have been blackmailing members of Congress with whatever information they stole from the congressmen's laptops. Congressional aides also feared politicians were being blackmailed by the Pakistani IT suspects in security breach, the Gateway Pundit reported. Fox News anchor Maria Bartiromo was the first person to break the story about the Muslim Brothers spying at the White House, where she discussed exactly what's at stake now that America's secrets are now in the possession of these Muslim IT workers, all who have ties with the Muslim Brotherhood and had for months been funneling our secrets to possible terrorists outside the United States, thanks to Wasserman Schultz. They, the Muslims, were barred from computer networks at the House of Representatives on Thursday because they accessed congressmen and congresspeople's computer networks unauthorized, Bartirama began. At a minimum they were fired. At a minimum we know that they accessed computers unauthorized and they did so in foreign intelligence foreign affairs and intelligence committees. They were getting very important information, government information. They accessed these computers. It's highly disturbing how all of the DNC's scandals keep pointing straight back to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Her antics began during the election as she was busted for helping Hillary Clinton rig the primary election against Bernie Sanders. After being fired and removed as the DNC chair, not only is Wasserman Schultz now being tied to the murder of Berenton J. Wissonant Jr. who was investigating her for her fraud and visa case in Florida, 
but now she's been caught red-handed for trying to destroy computers and hard drives directly tying her to Muslim Brotherhood terrorists at the White House. All Muslims that she hired to do IT work, T work, 